name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. Jake, sup? James, baby weekend. I saw my nephew. You ate your baby. Good times. How are you doing? Ate his feet. He laughs. <laughs> Put the whole mic in your mouth like you were telling me before. <laughs> That's hot. That was Paris my son's Hilton. foot, dude. Paris Hilton. Call that hot. Who's hotter, Paris Hilton or your son? Says here, you suck. Hmm. That's that's not on there. Oh, let's go to the sports. Jim, game seven day. Two hockey game sevens, two NBA game sevens. The best words in sports, game seven. I said it a lot. We were Uh, there. We were at one of the four. We watched our Rangers, never a doubt. I was telling people the whole game, Rangers are going to win in overtime. It's honestly what I was doing. You were doing that. People were getting a little upset. The Rangers were down three to two in the third period, and during the intermission, they... A couple people were like, all right, two goals. And Jimmy goes, overtime. Yeah, OT. Guy was in line. And he was like, what do you think? Think they come back? I said, an OT. <laughs> people were mad because it was a Sunday night. So they yeah, were like, come like on. Don't predict that. And then I was right. And you were right. They put it on the scoreboard. J- Jimmy was right. The other hockey game was good. Flames won. NBA blew it. Two blowouts. Who was playing? Your Mavs. Blew out your sons. It's a really boring matchup. Sorry. And then your Celtics okay. blew out your Bucks, dude. Way to go hockey. Bad job, the NBA. Jim, there was this almost a breakdown you were telling me about. I was getting off the subway and my phone was breaking up and you're like, Jake, I... You gotta see this dog. Jake, are you... Boxer Bud Crawford's daughter loses her shoe at the start of the race. This was a high school... Race? A start of a high school track yeah. race? No way. This is every high school track meet ever. I would have thought... Easy with your flicks. I would have thought they were 10 years old. Oh, wow. I think the footage makes them look small. Anyway, it's really cool. She loses her shoe at the start of the race, but loses is out of the use. She kind of just not in her shoe. Yeah. Zach, if you could zoom in on her foot, it's like her foot that's on the starting block, and then she just steps out of it. I don't even know. I just... I don't think her shoe was on. The track shoes, they have spikes in the front, and uh, I think it just... It stuck, and her foot went... So, yeah, it's a 200 meter, which is Tice race. You're talking about 30 seconds here. Mm-hmm. Track guy, Jake. Yeah. She didn't give up. She persevered. Yeah. She beats all the other girls whose shoes stayed intact the whole time, which begs the question would she have blown them out in a landslide? Yeah. Or the sea biscuit effect? She needed to be behind to kick it into that next level gear. No, there's, it's a track coaching technique that you need. If you fuck up at the start, you're going to run a faster race. Yeah, we saw it in the hurdles as well. A girl named Abby, she knocked over. For the first two hurdles. Say her full name. Say, Abby, it, ba- say it backwards. Yabba. Abby. <laughs> yeah. Which brings us right back to more sports. Jim, I edited this headline. You you know I'm a sportman myself. And I edited the headline to say the Cincinnati Reds and the Pittsburgh Pirates play the worst baseball game ever. Dude, it's up there for the worst baseball game ever. So if anyone doesn't know, because hopefully you're not just tuning in for this, Jake, tell them what happened. Why it was so bad. Folding. Oh, just trying to isolate the headline. Jim, there was a no hitter and you're like, that's kind of exciting baseball that's rare right the team that got no hit lost yeah or no excuse me the team that got no hit won yeah they won that's and they didn't get a, they won they didn't get a single hit both of these teams are so horrible yep and the headline is so horrible that it combines for one of the worst sports stories seems ever. like some people would be like oh wow a no hitter exciting it's like no there's only four hits in the game there's only one extra base hit in the game and the way that the run scored was walk 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 bases loaded ground out run score so not even really uh oh. like an rbi knock sack fly even if you went to this game leave a comment below and just write a book i the went worst to the worst game ever. i went to the worst game ever jim this not sports you were telling me about this is a big story for you just oh you gotta it. unfold just gotta headlines. find it real quick if you can just like give jim me while you do second. that maybe i'll oh, tell this the people, story stinks i'm wearing rowback and i look good you do I, i'm also wearing rowback zach little dinosaurs they got like <laughs> multiple little dinosaurs. Look at this stretch on. Oh, <laughs> no. That was natural. That was natural. Gross. A little butthole shirt. Let's do a double. Listen to this story, Zach. Yeah. You're going to like this, pervert. Freak. NASA scientists want to send naked pictures of humans to space to make contact with aliens. Yeah. AKA NASA scientists want to see their coworkers naked because they're nerds. Because, you know, us as humans, we're always like, Yeah. Oh, you know what? It would, if the aliens come, at least I hope we see them naked if first. The aliens come. That I hope. would really make me feel more secure. Just the old about naked their, heads About up. what they want to do here. If we just got to see him naked first. Yeah, it's just one of those things that you get to this point, And it's, I'm hoping this is the bad egg from NASA. 
Like, if I'm trying to think of what's the equivalent. If we heard, like, who's someone that represents something that we like that we're like, oh, they stink. <laughs> so rude. Yeah. Teeing me up to be rude yeah. to someone. No, I, I <laughs> thought of one. I don't want to say it. Yeah. Oh, I know one. I also don't want to say it publicly. Okay. Zach fucks dogs. I don't know. How do no, we end no, it? No, 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 no. Fucked up a dog. Did his sister. <laughs> Knock that sh dog right out. Kick the dog in the face. <laughs> What's the next segment? I think it's Employee of the Week. It's the Employee, employee of, of the Week. week. It's the Employee it's of the Week. week. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to do what it says because I don't get it. I think we should do who it's related to though. Because again, I, he's been getting a lot. Has he really? I think he's been getting. a I've lot. I've been brainwashing myself. He's been getting a lot because it's the summer. Can I give it to Sam? People need to step up, man. Give it to ourselves. No, 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 no. Those are like the those are the group of people that get the employee of the week. Oh, dude, I'm gonna give it to Ronnie. Okay, his I like his, Ronnie. his edit of me and I Nikki like his edit of me and Nikki playing Blitzball is really funny. He went he went a little above and beyond on the edit, did some funny shit. Zach gets all the credit for any funny edit, but it was Ronnie this time. Congrats, Ronnie. That was a weekly dumb. Today's episode of the Weekly Dumb was brought to you by Roback. They have the best fitting shirts, the best feeling shirts. When it comes to quality, Roback just takes it to a new level. Their performance polos, Q-zips, and hoodies bring a new meaning to the word comfortable. So do yourself a favor and use the code DUMB on Roback.com for a generous 20% off your first order. That's spelled R-H-O-B-A-C-K.com. 20% off your first order on all polos. Clothes, quarter zips, hoodies, and tees with code DUMB. Hello, hello, Zach, 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 Deansy, Cantuna. Zach, 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 Zach had a heart attack. He ought to know by mm. now. <laughs> if you could have any Billy Joel song to your credit, mm. yes, written and per originally performed by Zach Esposito. Billy Joel covered it. Scenes from an Italian restaurant. Yeah. Bottle of red, bottle of white. Brandon and Eddie with a popular steady back in the summer.